never said it was an issue. I just said I did, didn't hear you and that it was something loud came out of the mic. What is premise but two? Premise two, can you stop being arrogant, first of all? Premise two is that change involves the actualization of potential. Okay. Continue with the argument, then. Okay. Premise three is that something cannot both be in a state of actuality and potentiality in the same respect. Do you understand what that means? You yes. Okay. The fourth premise is that something... So bad. Um, maybe I mixed up the word ecological with environmental. I probably fucking did. Um, right, what I mean by that. So, suppose I have a light bulb and it's turned off. Now, that light bulb in itself is indeterminate towards being turned on. Like, that, that the potential for it being turned on is dependent on something external to it. You're saying change something... Your mic, oh my god, that was loud. Your mic is... You can right-click me and turn me down. No, it wasn't about turning you down. No. He just, I didn't even hear Logan, what he's, he is right. Your mic is, is doing something really crazy. It's not just like volume. It's going, it's like just giving static sometimes. All right, hold like on. Loud static. Better. No. You yeah, you sound nice and clear. We'll just have to hear you talk to see if there's more static. Go ahead. So far I have the following. Premise one change occurs. Premise two change is the actualization of potential. No, no, Premise it, three no. I didn't say it is that. I said that it involves the actualization of potential. I wrote down premise two pretty much verbatim based on what you said. No, I said, well, I said in walls. I didn't say it. Premise one, change occurs. Premise two, change involves actualization of potential. Premise three, something cannot be in a state of actualization and a state of potential simultaneously. Premise four, something cannot actualize its own potential. No, 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 no. You mi misheard or misinterpreted premise three. I didn't say that something cannot both be in a state of actuality and potentiality simultaneously. I said in the same respect. What the fuck does that mean? That means that a light bulb cannot both be turned off and turned on simultaneously. That same respect. However, light bulb can still exist. That's a state of actuality and have the potential to be turned I don't understand what that means. I just it's very clear. Yes, it's very clear. I something a light bulb cannot both be turned on and turned off at the same time. That's the same respect part. However, a light bulb can be in a state of actuality and potentiality in different respects. I.e., a light bulb can both exist, that's a state of actuality, but have the potential to be turned off or smashed. Okay, what's premise four? Yeah, premise four is that something cannot actualize its own potential. And do you understand what is meant by that? Or you brought up the analogy previously? Yes, go on. Okay. Premise five is essentially that there cannot be an infinite cycle of change. And premise, well, it's not really premise six, but it's the conclusion. Therefore, there had to be something which is pure act to enable all change to occur by sustaining it. What's the inference, inference rule being used here? Inference rule in reference to what? Like, why, why would the conclusion follow from these premises? Because the only alternative to an infinite regress is a finite regress. That's not an answer to my question. It is an answer to your question. I asked why the conclusion would follow from the premises. Do you agree? Do you agree that something cannot actualize its own potential? That's irrelevant to the question I'm asking. It is. You. It's perfect. Uh, well, I'm trying to explain to you how it follows. Uh, the only way I can explain how it follows is by going by the premises. No, you could just yes. you could just explain in propositional logic why the conclusion follows from the premises. And the way that I can explain in propositional logic is to go over the premises again because. Do you agree? This is the first four, well, the first five. Premises. Do you know what inference rule the argument uses or not? 
Yes, I do, and I'm trying to what explain to you. What rule is that? But you keep fucking interrupting me, okay? Because you're not answering the question. I'm, tr okay, I'm trying to answer the question, okay? The first five premises are simply establishing the nature of change. And based on the nature of change, we can deduce that there has to be something purely actual. No, that's not an answer to my question either. It is an answer to your question. How is I'm that asking, not a... I'm asking how the conclusion would deductively follow from the premises. I'm not asking you to get into the... Okay, so the... the way that I can answer that is by establishing the nature of change, which I've already done. No, you that would you be didn't, irrelevant. You didn't, you didn't give me an answer. You did not tell me whether or not you agree with any of the premises I presented and are now asking me a question which completely depends on whether or not you agree with the premises. I'm asking first... if you think your argument is formally valid, what inference rule are you using to establish that the conclusion follows from the premises? The only alternative to an infinite regress of change is a finite regress of change. Based on the premises prior to premise 5, we can deduce the conditions of that, uh, of that first changer, which is purely actual absent of any potential. This is not an answer to my question. Dude. Okay, dude, yeah. Can someone else step in? I'm not going to talk to this guy. No. Nobody else is going to step in because I'm asking you a circumspect question about an argument and I'm in which I assume, question. don't interrupt me, in which I assume the conclusion follows from the premises, right? I just if you think, Excuse me. If you think this argument is formally valid, you should be able to explain to me why the conclusion necessarily follows from the premises because it's a deductive argument. Wait, Instead of doing, don't interrupt me. Instead of doing that, you've just chosen to get into the minutia of the premises rather than explaining to me how it's valid, right? I am saying I don't have reason to think right now that it's formally valid. Do you have a response to that or do you not? Yes, I do have a response okay, to that. Okay, so what inference rule are you using? Hey, 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 don't premise. interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. Don't interrupt me. The way that I can establish how the premises follow and are deductive is by establishing whether or not you agree with the premises. You cannot, you cannot agree no, with the premises. No, that's irrelevant. Like, Look, if the, pre if the conclusion necessarily follows from the premises, right, we're assuming the premises are true for the purpose of that, then it's formally valid. You gotta fix your mic. Your mic's going crazy. I'll just switch to my phone. Better. Wow. I say so. Yeah, as far as I can tell, yeah. Okay, so the question I'm asking you is just what inference rule are you using to get the conclusion from the premises, right? I'm not asking you to delve into the minutiae of the premises. I'm just asking you to show us that the argument is formally valid. Because if it's not formally valid, or we have reason to doubt that it's formally valid, there's no point in talking about the premises. It would just be invalid. The way that I can demonstrate that, yes, I understand that. And the way that I can demonstrate that is by establishing whether or not you agree with the premises. Each premise follows from the That's premise. irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. How is it irrelevant? If you because whether or not I agree with the premises, you could still establish if the argument is valid or not. Yes, I can, and that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Okay, just... can, so what inference rule are you using? Again, do you or do you not agree with the first five or six premises that I present? I'm asking you to establish if the argument is deductively valid. My yes. response to your question has no bearing on that. Now, do you okay. have an explanation? Excuse me. Do you have an explanation as to how the argument is formally valid? Or do you not? Do you agree that premise Answer two my question. is... Do you agree? I'm answering I asked question. you a question. Do you, You're answering I'm a question. I'm answering. Question. Stop speaking of, speaking of Speaking of questions, I have one. Um, and I would like to ask it. I, I'll patiently wait for an answer to my fucking question before yes, I... Yes, and I'll you. answer your fucking question if you stop fucking interrupting me. It might, it might yeah. help if you respond with something like a modus ponens on premise two and three... There for the conclusion. That's the kind of answer Pogan is looking for. Yes, and I'm asking whether or not he agrees. You know that his agreement doesn't matter, right? I, I, you did, did, what was I going to say? 
You were going to repeat the same thing? You said six fucking times. You're going to establish, hold on, you're going to establish whether he agrees with your premises before going forward. Nope. But that's going to be an argument about soundness. Nope. If you just, like, respond, hold on, I'm just telling you, the the answer you give to Pogan is not going to be predicated on whether he agrees with them or not. It's just going to be in terms of logical rules, all right? So if your answer is not of that form, you're not answering his question. Well, why are you why are you making claims about what I was gonna say if you effed because you said the same it. thing about no lines. you don't know what I was gonna fucking say so All let right, me then, say then go it. for it go for it answer it okay do you agree that premise two is contingent on premise one that's not an answer to my question oh my god okay dude yeah yeah there don't you shouldn't no respond point. with do you agree blank just tell just. Because it doesn't matter what he agrees premise with. Just two, give, yes. uh, premise two. Yes. Premise two. Okay, the... let's, let's show you something. Prem- hey, hey, Socrates, do you agree with these premises? The sky is blue. The earth isn't flat. Uh, I don't necessarily agree with them. You cut out. Okay, give me, give me two propositions you agree with. Um, I love you and you love me. Okay, well, let's say that you... Well, those are those are going to confuse him because we don't love each other. Let's, um... Uh, let's at least one of those premises is true. Let's, let's just go with the CN power... You're, you're a human stop, male and so on. Nin, Nin Klaus, stop. Let's just go with the CN tower exists and Mount Everest exists, okay? I assume you accept okay. this, right, Socrates? I accept. Okay, now I'm going to give you an argument, okay? This, and I assume I assume you also accept... Um, oh, in fact, let's just leave that. Okay, so here's an argument, okay? Premise one, the CN tower mm-hmm. exists... Premise two, Mount Everest exists. You're agreeing with the premises so far? Sure. Okay, and here's the conclusion. Uh, the Earth is triangular. Do you accept that oh, as an argument? I accept that I was, I yeah. didn't say that. I said, <laughs> that was good. I so, so that, Nick, that I did point, not Nick, say. Nick, just, appre- just a second. Just appreciate the point. So the point is, it doesn't matter if he agrees with the premises. He could agree with oh, all my. of the premises. It's about you, if it, the it, form it, is right. But did you, you notice what I said? Did you notice how I didn't say whether you agree with this the is meta. I, I, I asked. You. No, no, you're not going to fucking interrupt me. Just sh- shut your mouth already. <laughs> what I was going to say the last time, what did I say? Like, what was my last sentence? My last sentence and my last question was whether or not he agrees that premise two is dependent on premise one. It wouldn't matter. Let okay. me explain the issue, okay? The wait, issue wait, is this. I, I have a question. Sorry, Pogan. By dependent, are you ta- are you trying to talk about like the, I don't even know what you think you mean. What's important is if the conclusion follows from the premises. Okay, it does. Premises aren't. Yes. It doesn't matter if premises are dependent on each other. Whatever that means. A sound argument it's... is valid. That means the conclusion follows from the premises, and the premises are also true. Okay. So what he's asking you to do. He's asking you to tell him the actual form of the argument. And the honest answer you should give is, I don't actually know the form of the argument, so I'm just going to bow out of this debate right now till I can give a form to it. Uh, yeah, that would... to help you structure it. Yes, and again, I'm going to repeat the same thing I've been saying for the like, past We're not interested minutes. in that. Okay, you don't have to listen. You can just mute me or you can leave the conversation. The problem is that like, you're not responding to anybody when they I am, Ed. I am. Let me, let me speak without interruption. I'll explain to you exactly no, what the issue no, is. You do, no, I'll you keep interrupting you exactly me. I'll explain to you exactly what the issue is if you allow me to speak. Scream. No, If you allow no. me to speak, I will explain no, the I'm issue to you. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You, you've explain been interrupting me. I will explain the issue to you if no, you allow me no. to speak. No, I already didn't understand the issue, and I'm trying to okay, resolve so the, it. Okay, so let me, let's just clarify then, right? The issue is not whether or not I agree with the premises. The issue is if the conclusion necessarily follows from the premises because it's a deductive argument. Do you understand? Did I get muted or something? Okay, hello? Oh, I'm you can, if you mute me again, I'm leaving this conversation. Did but you hear my, that, Did you hear what I said? Yes, I heard your question. And again, I did not say whether you agree with the premises. I said that at the beginning because I didn't fully understand what you were demanding. Now that I do, literally... Five minutes ago, I asked whether or not you agree that premise two is dependent on premise one. Why do I ask that question? Because that's the still way... irrelevant to whether. Oh or not my god! Valid. Did I f- interrupt you? No, because he muted me, and now he doesn't want to mute you when you interrupt me. If you me. say something that's wrong, I'm gonna interject. Okay, then why do you fucking get mad when I do that? Because I'm generally speaking with more value than you right now. Okay, I can but... say the same thing about me. You realize? And how... most people would disagree with you. 
I don't care what most people fucking vegans think. I literally don't. <laughs> what I, so let okay, me continue. So... The way <laughs> to establish <laughs> whether the no, you may not. Let me finish. Yo. The way Yo. to establish whether the way to establish whether the conclusions follow from the premises, we have to establish whether the premises follow from their previous counterparts. Wrong. Okay, well, that's not an argument, Buck. Look, I'm not asking you to justify whether or not the premises are true, okay? That's not what I said! Please I literally did not say that. It's not necessary to yell into your microphone like it a is. crazy person. I, yes, me, it is. You've been it's yelling. Not, it's not necessary to yell in your microphone like an insane person, right? I'm merely ironic. Asking, Very ironic. I'm merely asking you to establish if the argument is deductively valid, since it is clearly a deductive argument. What that means is... The conclusion would necessarily follow from the premises, right? That's most likely going to be subject to some sort of inference rule. I merely asked you to show us how the conclusion necessarily follows from the premises, because if that's not established, we can't think the argument is valid. And if it's not valid, conversations about the truth of the premises, which go into uh, the topic of soundness, are a waste of our fucking time. So this was your second time that you strawman me. So good job on that. What's the strawman? I never I said. I never. Don't interrupt me. Said, don't get angry when I interrupt you. You're accusing me of a strawman. What's okay, the strawman? Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna explain. You said that my that what I said was whether or not the premises themselves are valid. I never said that. You can That's not even think what of I them said. as invalid. Oh my God! Stop interrupting Let's me, dude. Let's repeat ourselves. Can, you wait, don't get it. wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Wait, is there a mod the here? Is there a mod here? Yes, there are. He, okay, yes, then there are. Uh, the last time I interrupted okay, him, I got one, muted. So one, can one mute because one you're second? saying one, nonsense. One, one, one second. Okay, one, tell wait, him. guys, stop it, stop a second. If someone, if someone who's in the debate calls for moderation, we do moderate. We don't moderate when randoms ask for it. So if I guess we're going to do moderated now. So I think it is very clear, though, Nick, that Pogan is the one with the question on the table right now. So your answer should come to him if, you know, the arguments in propositional logic, you should be able to explain the form by just saying letters and symbols, right? And if you yes, can't do that, you should really... I'm trying it. to answer. I cannot answer his question if he keeps interrupting me. Whenever Go I ahead. Now, now okay, when, I, when, I, when I moderate, I do moderate non-answers. So if, I, if there's over five non-answers, we're just going to call it, okay? So it do was, you have an answer to Pogan's question? It should come in the form of just letters and symbols. Yes, I will I will answer his question. Okay, that's one but try. first, so I, try one more I never said... Yeah, okay. I never said okay, that's that you two. have to accept premises per times. se. So third time, can you actually give an answer to the form? Just okay, can you finish. stop interrupting me? I'm gonna answer it. I first. This guy's worthless. We've, we've got this guy's one worthless. more try here, and then it's just gonna be we're closing the room. So the question. Okay, you can close the room all you want. I first have to. That's just gonna be in symbols I, and letters. Again, I never okay, said so that, that you I, have. I declare. <laughs> I declare Pogan the winner of this debate. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, fucking cowards. Yeah, run away, 